This video is about an application Echo Mimic version 2. It makes a decent video with gestures based on a single image. Echo Mimic V2 is a major upgrade from the V1, expanding from digital face to digital human. With a picture, a piece of audio, and a gesture, you can generate a digital human like me. This was generated using just a single image and an audio clip. Let's install this using Pinocchio. Search for Pinocchio. Click Download. I am downloading for Windows. Save to your computer and extract the downloaded file. After extraction, run the installer. I will change the path to install. Make sure the mentioned folder does not exist in the path. Once done, go to the Discover section. You should be able to find by searching Echo. Click Download. Save with a name and download. The download process has started. This may take some time. You will see multiple files being downloaded like this. The application starts automatically once everything is downloaded. Upload the image here. And this is where I should get my video as an output. The audio file goes here. Maximum length is 15 seconds. The pose directory contains these binary files. I assume these are the poses. I will try to understand about generating these poses and giving another set of poses. Next is the width and height of the video. This should be the video length, but I don't understand what unit it's referring to. We'll test in a few minutes. Steps, sampling rate, and CFG are the same as it works with other models like stable diffusion. FPS and frames are related to the video quality. To make it quick, I will keep these settings as default. The generate button to start the process. And below are some of the sample images and audio to see how the application works. It's good to have this many sample images we can choose from. I clicked a couple of examples by mistake. I think it's running. After a few seconds, I got an error. Somehow I was able to crash the program. After a restart, I loaded a sample image and the audio by clicking on it. It did not work and gave an error. I tried again, click to load a sample. The audio is playable. Assuming this was a Chinese language, let's run the program and look at the hardware requirements. 16 gigabytes of RAM will work easily for this application. And for audio of around 5 seconds, 12 gigabytes of video memory should work. The requirement was the same throughout the process, and it took around 20 minutes on a 4060 Ti card. Let's check the result. The application is good at lip syncing and hand gestures. Compared to other such applications, this works better. I loaded couple of samples, but those were Chinese language. I am not able to find a sample with English audio. I will generate an image using Fucus. And then get an audio file in English to find out how well it works. This are the English audio file. Echo Mimic V2 is a major upgrade from the V1, expanding from digital face to digital human. With a picture, a piece of audio, and a gesture, you can generate a digital human like me. Give it a try. Unlike the previous audio sample with length of 5 seconds, this file has a length of 15 seconds. So, I have increased the length by 3 times, which came to 720. Let's see if it goes properly with the actual audio. For a 15 second video, my video RAM is full. I wonder if this will work on a 12 GB card by compensating for time. It took around 52 minutes on my card. It looks bad. Echo Mimic V2 is a major upgrade from the V1, 
expanding from digital face to digital human. With a picture, a piece of audio, and a gesture, you can generate a digital human like me. Give it a try. The image I used was of a different size. You guys should keep note of it. I will try again with a different image for a quick text with a smaller audio file. Welcome to use Economic V2. We hope Economic V2 can bring you a better experience. Let's check the result. Welcome to use Economic V2. We hope Economic V2 can bring you a better experience. This was good. The lips goes with the words pronounced. Image with 1 to 1 aspect ratio goes well with the default settings. Now, I will try with the 15 seconds audio clip. Echo Mimic V2 is a major upgrade from the V1, expanding from digital face to digital human. With a picture, a piece of audio, and a gesture, you can generate a digital human like me. Give it a try. This is quite acceptable as per the current level of open source technology has developed. I will try a couple of more with a different audio. For the image, I will use the image prompt and use the sample image from the application to generate a new subject. With the help of Pyra Canny and Alora trained on Emma Watson's images. I have generated multiple images with the aspect ratio 1 is to 1. I took the audio from 11 labs to pair with Emma Watson's images. Let's check the result. The 11 labs voice generator can deliver high quality, human-like speech in 32 languages. Perfect for audiobooks, video voiceovers, commercials and more. It has the best lip sync available in the open source, with perfect hands. Echo Mimic V2 is a major upgrade from the V1, expanding from digital face to digital human. With a picture, a piece of audio, and a gesture, you can generate a digital human like me. Give it a try. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments.